Hi, welcome to Simply Scuba. Now your dive torch is an essential piece of kit, not only to see where you're going, but it's also very handy to communicate with your buddy. But there are lots of different features to a torch, so let's take a closer look at dive torches. Handheld. Your primary torch is your general workhorse, so it tends to be fairly powerful, normally above 700 lumens. They're usually a decent size, so they're comfortable to hold in your hand. Umbilical. Umbilical torches allow you to have a smaller head in your hand, but a separate battery pack connected by an umbilical cable. These allow you to have long battery lives and powerful heads in a small compact torch on your hand. Backup. Backup torches tend to be much more compact. You still get plenty of power, but they tend to sit on a D-ring or down in a pocket, so you can use them if your main primary torch fails. Photo video light. Photo video lights usually come on an arm that can be mounted onto your camera and they produce a wide angle beam, plenty of light to bring the colors back into your photographs. Action video light. Action video lights are compact video lights with a wide angle beam, smooth beam as well, but they're made for action cameras like the GoPro that can go anywhere so they're nice and compact. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet lights are newer on the market. They use a different wavelength of light, producing a blue light under the water that creates many underwater organisms to phosphoresce and glow in the dark. Adjustable power setting. Many torches nowadays have an adjustable power setting, so you can activate the torch to get 100% power, flick the switch again to knock it down to 50%, and some also have a strobe mode. Adjustable beam angle. Also, a lot of torches have an adjustable beam angle, so you can adjust between a wide angle beam and then focus it down into a spotlight beam. Very handy for illuminating an entire scene, but then focusing on a subject to communicate with your buddy or highlight something in particular. Rechargeable battery. Some dive torches nowadays have built-in rechargeable batteries that you can charge with a USB cable. So that means that you don't have to swap out batteries or risk damaging that seal to recharge your torch. Handheld. Handheld torches often have some kind of grip. They're a decent size so they fit in your hand, even a gloved hand, nice and comfortably so that you can use it for the entire dive. Goodman style handle. Goodman style handles have a grip so that you can hold onto it with your hands. The torch sits on the back of the palm of your hands, so it still points in the right direction, but you can still use your hands to communicate and operate tools. Mask mount. Mask mounted torches attach onto your mask strap and sit right next to your dive mask. So everywhere you look, your torch is illuminating exactly what you're looking at. Polymer. Plastic is a very cheap and efficient material. It's lightweight, it doesn't corrode, but it does crush fairly easily, so you do have to be careful when carrying your torch around heavy dive cylinders. Delrin. Delrin is a higher quality plastic material with a higher stiffness, higher precision, and greater resistance to any kind of forces. Anodized aluminium. Anodized aluminium is much stronger being a metal. It's also corrosion resistant. The anodized process gives it a harder coat on the outside, so it's a bit more abrasion resistant too. Manual switch. Manual switches are usually a hinged switch that work through the body of the torch to activate it on the inside. Twist cap. Twist caps are where you screw or unscrew the head of the torch to activate it. But you do have to be careful not to unscrew it all the way so that you don't flood your torch. Magnetic switch. Magnetic switches are a two-part switch. On the outside, you have the actual switch with a small magnet. On the inside of the torch, you either have a complementary magnet or some kind of reed switch that activates the torch when the magnet passes over it. Tap control. Tap control is exclusive to Exposure Marine and they have a small motion sensor built into the torch. So instead of pressing a button or turning anything, you just tap the torch to change the power settings. Spotlight and wide angle beam. Wide angle beams are great for illuminating entire scenes underwater. So they're preferred by photographers and videographers. But if you need to focus on a specific point and communicate effectively, a spotlight torch is much better for highlighting individual items or communicating with your buddy. 
battery level indicator. Battery level indicators allow you to know exactly how much battery life you have left remaining in your torch, either by a color coded LED or by different numbered counting down, letting you know exactly how much power you have left in your battery. Mounting point. Many torches, especially wide angle torches, have a mounting point on the underside. This is a traditional tripod mount so that you can mount it onto an arm so that you can take pictures and video using that light. Locking mechanism. Locking mechanisms on torches mean that whilst you're traveling or storing your torch, it's not gonna activate accidentally. With a simple twist or a simple push, you can reactivate the torch to use it when you want. Factory seal. Factory torches never need to be opened as they have a rechargeable battery on the inside that's powered through the casing by external contacts. This means that you never have to break that seal and risk flooding your torch ever again. So that was a good look at dive torches. Let us know in the comments below which dive torch you use. Thanks for watching and safe diving.